Right, this time we're going to be thinking about turning anti-clockwise. We're going to look at how that looks the same but also different from turning clockwise. So I am still going to start with my dog facing the top of the board and I'm going to do a quarter turn but this time in a different direction. I'm going anti-clockwise, that means I'm going towards the left. So I'm going to turn to the left side of my screen. So here is a quarter turn still but it's just anti-clockwise instead. So you will notice the same amount of the circle is shaded one quarter. It's just that we've gone in a different direction this time from the top to the left of the board instead of from the top to the right. Now we're going to think about a half turn anti-clockwise. So I'm going to start with my dog facing the top of the board towards the left and then to the bottom of the board. And that is a half turn. Um, and you might notice something about a half turn clockwise and a half turn anti-clockwise. You might want to think about where the dog is facing after it's done a half turn both times. Now let's do a three quarter turn anti-clockwise. So I'm going to start with my dog at the top again, turn to the left one quarter, turn to the bottom, that's two quarters or half and then turn to the right, that's three quarters. There we are, so this is still a three quarter turn. I've still got three parts of my circle shaded three quarters. And then finally, I'm going to do a whole turn anti-clockwise, all the way around to the left, to the bottom, to the right, and all the way back to the top, facing the same way that we started. And you might also notice something about a whole turn anti-clockwise and a whole turn clockwise. 